My old man, I can't see that. You must have been reading without your glasses. Not in there. It's not all love. Why did God create hell? Good to see you again. Why did God create the lake of fire? Because you're doing the wrong thing. Listen, I wasn't trying to challenge you. Wait, it ain't all about you and it's not all about me. It's about Jesus and the gays. It's about the vibes. It's about the holiness of God. It's about you fearing God and keeping his commandments. Walk that walk. Don't talk that talk. I walk it as God. Get that cigarette out of your hand. Walk that walk. Don't talk that talk, man. And get rid of that cigarette. If you stick a cigarette in your mouth, you'll stick anything in your mouth. It's disgusting. Perverted. Twisted. The Bible says, thou shalt not kill. What does a cigarette do to you? Fills your lungs with nicotine, tar. You're talking about something else in our mouths. Well, that's because your mind is constantly in the gutter, Grandma. You should be home knitting some socks for your grandkids. You shouldn't be out here with all these perverts. Come on. You need to obey the Bible. Set an example for the younger ladies. No wonder this country's going to the crap out of it. All the old women don't care anything about the younger women. They don't teach them any godliness. They don't teach them any modesty. Now, you are jumping. You are you are crossing the line. You are crossing the line. Well, you need to stay out of my way. I'm not your baby. I'm not your baby. I'm not your baby. So what kind of Bible verse you got for me now? Huh? Jesus fed everybody. He didn't feed everybody. He turned around and he said to the multitudes that followed him, eat my flesh, drink my blood. And they went, we ain't following this guy anymore. And they turned around and went, rock and roll. Why don't you tell them about that part of the Bible, Slick? Give me a new heart. You're still out here. I can't believe it. Everybody tell me. How many years Tell me. 75. He's 75. Since 75. Not 75. So that would be what? 33 years. Come on. Come on. I got a condominium. Pay. Thank you, Jesus. How appropriate. How appropriate. Oh, look at him. Show me the money. Yeah, yeah. One question. Where is he? Why is the snake a sign of medicine? Yeah, walk away. Sign the medicine. Joe Walsh, walk away. Why? Why do I have a snake and a sign of medicine? Because when, because when, when the when the adders were sent by God, no, no, no. When the adders were sent by God to bite the Israelites, they bit them and their venom killed them. But they got no venom. Listen, listen, listen. They got no venom. Yes. Yes. No, no, no. Oh, oh, the snake is a snake. No, 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 no. There's vipers. And there's contract constrictors. It's still a snake. But not all are vipers. These a snake people, is a snake. You asked me a question. You let me answer you. Okay. The ones that bit the children of Israel were, were vipers. When they bit them, they'd inject the venom and kill them. But God told Moses to make a rod and put a snake on it and hold it up. And when they looked upon the snake, they'd live. That's why the snake is a sign of quote pets. Because of healing. It comes from God. It's in the Bible. Read it. That's so, in Exodus. So this is good. No. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not necessarily good either. I mean, pretty freaky creature. The only thing good is Jesus. Do you have Jesus in your heart? No, of course not. I got Moses in my heart. I got Jacob in my heart. Abraham. David. What about Jesus? The Bible says, a man, hold on, hold on. The Bible says, unless a man is born again, he'll never see the kingdom of God. Unless you believe that I am the Messiah, you should by no means. You don't think I'm the Messiah. You don't think I'm the Messiah. You're not 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 the Messiah. You're not